Hello, this is me again. Um, just figured I'd show you what I was up to today um, with uh, using the tools that DM Scotty shows on his YouTube videos. Um, this is what I've done today. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Now this is just one single tile. I didn't split it up or anything, so this is just one big tile. Uh, you see as it fits on the map here. Um, this is a mine. Got this little feature here. Um, I'm gonna add in like a little waterfall here, going down. Like I said, I pretty thought I was pretty much think I was gonna make this into a water feature somehow. So, and this is just part of the board. You know, got a little bit of you know pebbles and stuff. I still gotta paint it a little bit with the water and stuff like that and make it go down. You know, underneath. And then, you know, so the guys can come along. They can't see nothing here, but once they actually come over here, they can actually see this waterfall that's coming down. You know. And there's my broken mine cart. Um, this is just made. You know, this comes off. The, tra the, uh, the train tracks come off. Um, this is actually uh, cotton. I wanted to bring a little bit something, you know, to the, the area. And I got this little... Little cove right here. I'm not sure my hand's in the way of the light now. Huh? Well, you can kind of see that. You know, players can actually go underneath there, and that actually comes up here to a little trail. And as you can see, this actually comes up a level, and so therefore that's a level higher. So it's kind of a. This is going to be my second level of my my mine dungeon. Um, I'm going to build like a little. Uh, mine shaft here that used to raise the carts up and down. It's broken. So I'm going to put a little shaft thing here. Um, as you can see, they're probably mining this area, you know, taking it out all the way around. It's kind of cool with this. I'm actually thinking about putting like a, a cloth over this. And then depending on where the players go, they may not even, you know, come over here and come up or come back here and come up to actually find these little things. I thought this was kind of neat too. You know, it's got a little, with this whole cotton thing. You know, you can't really get through there, but I mean, I guess you could try to climb that and try to get over there and through here to where I have this, that stalagmite or stone right there with the torches. So that's kind of cool. Um, this I just pretty much hit with the flat black. Um, Used a little bit of the uh, texture spray paint on it, and then I threw a cup, you know, some flacking on it and everything, kind of give it a little glittering shine and see what's all there. So, you know, this is only half of it. I still got another half to have to go this way. So this is about half the size of the dungeon that I'm going to be playing in. But I figured that once I get past this area, then I can just bring out a whole new, you know, a whole new map for the next area. So just kinda wanna get you an overview of this and I think that that cotton I think worked out rather well. I was hoping that it wouldn't get into gameplay or anything, but we'll see how that, you know, distorts once we actually get to play with this. Um last time you saw this is just macaroni here. Went ahead and just painted it black. Probably do a couple of highlights or or something like that. And then these railways here kind of use the whole toothbrush idea with the paint and kind of just, you know, did that. Think about using a brown as well. So, I mean, it's not quite done, but, you know, it, it's getting there, little by little. But, I mean, this probably took me about, I mean, without all the pieces, but just the board itself, it probably took me about two hours, you know, with the paint letting the paint dry and all that debt and coming back with it and stuff like that so that's my little that's my little dungeon so uh thank you DM Scotty for the inspiration um like I said I got bitten by the bug I guess so I've just been going at it getting things made I want to say thank you to you um for showing the techniques that you've shown and you have yourself a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, and there's more to come, probably.